Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty and welcome to another episode of the Truth Skincare series. This has been a highly requested video. You all have been asking me about this brand for some time and I'm getting through the list of all of the requests, so please bear with me. If you're interested in my one-on-one, -on -one, yes, I got some DMs. I am still doing that, so I will leave the link below. Um, do know that I will commence doing that next week. So starting next week, Monday, definitely feel free to sign up. Uh, moving on from there, don't forget to follow me on Instagram um, at Sean K Beauty, where we do Topical Tip Tuesdays and I give you bite-sized tips to clear your skin. So with that out of the way, let's get into this. Um, if you're new, please like, subscribe, and share. My name is Sean. My background is microbiology and biochemistry. I bring science to beauty, and I'm also in the luxury beauty space. So I do luxury makeup tutorials and reviews. So let's get started with Shiseido because this is Japanese skincare. Um, I've done clean beauty. I will leave the link to that video below. I've done Korean skincare. I will also leave the link to that video down below. But Japanese skincare is just as good as your K-Beauty. What I love about the Japanese skincare brands is that they're very conservative. And Shiseido is a brand that has been around since 1872. So a lot of people are comfortable with this brand. Um, they have their cult favorites. Not all of their products are favorites. So we're going to talk about some of their products that are the cult favorites. We are also going to talk about the brand itself in this video. So without further ado, we've got a lot to cover. So let's get started. Okay, friends. So like I mentioned, this brand started in 1872. If you don't know, Shiseido happens to be the fourth largest cosmetic company out there. They own some of our brands that we know of, Bare Minerals, um, Clay de Peau Boutte. They also own NARS, um, some fragrance brands. So they're pretty much well rooted in acquiring companies like your Estee Lauders and your LVMH. So they're a huge brand, but they're very conservative. We don't hear about them a lot. And the Japanese culture is very much like that. They're reserved in some ways. Um, and especially when it comes to marketing their products, uh, word of mouth really keeps this brand relevant and also the popularity of it in Asia. Um, this is one of those brands that you will find in high-end hotels. But what I love about this is Rinobu Fukuhara started this brand as a Western-style pharmacy. And the first product that was introduced to Shiseido was actually toothpaste. So it was not even cosmetics or like your skincare or your makeup or your fragrances it actually was this non-abrasive toothpaste that you see here um what i do love about this brand is they have stayed relevant um they've stayed innovative and the aesthetics of the brand itself i think also lures people in all right so what does shiseido mean what does the name mean because we do know that in the asian culture a lot of the times names have meaning and the Japanese and just the Asian culture period, they're, they're really astute at being connected to what's happening around them, the earth, nature, that kind of thing. So Shin Shiseido actually comes from a passage in the Chinese Kung Fu Wishin, and it means how wonderful is the virtue of the earth from which all things are born. And I just thought that was super duper beautiful and profound. And it's true, we can find a lot in nature if we just take the time to sit and see what's happening around us. And I just, I really love that. Now let's talk about some of the products that Shiseido sells because it's a wide range of uh, cosmetics under this brand, uh, sunscreen, skincare, makeup. They even have products for men, much like Clinique. And there's a lot of fans that love the Shiseido brand. So on Sephora, Shiseido has like 20,000 loves and 4.5 stars with its rating. Um, it's a standout skincare la line that just like Estee Lauder and your Clinique's, people default to it because they're familiar with products, they're familiar with the brand, and there's just some die-hard fans. Now, fans were disappointed when Shiseido decided to discontinue one of their popular lines, which is the Ibuki Skin Blurring Line. Um, 
And I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think you may be able to get your hands on this in Asia because Shiseido is actually one of the skincare lines or brands that they actually have in luxury hotels. And I do know about hotels. Sometimes they have, um, you know, skincare from brands that was skincare that was discontinued, you know, some time back. Um, so if you're, if you're fortunate enough to go to Asia, you might luck out or, you know, looking online, you might luck out and see if there are some resale stores that's actually selling um, products from this line. Okay, now talking about ingredients, um, we know, just if you've been with me for a while, we have the, the La Mers with the seaweed or the sea kelp um, as their backbone. You have Chantecaille with the rose de May. Um, Estee Lauder prides itself on using, you know, the Chronolux CB technologies and some of their patented forms. Um, but for Shiseido, they use a lot of natural extracts. So your cranberry extract, your yuzu, thyme. Um, they also have hyaluronic acid in their skincare line. And for the anti-aging, they use a lot of retinol. Now, you all know that I'm not a huge proponent of retinol, but everything is subjective. Um, they also have the ginkgo biloba leaf extract in their products as well. And of course, you all know that um, Shiseido is known for their sunscreen. Um, now, I know that there's a lot of buzz circling around about sunscreen nowadays. Again, you'll have to do your research to see if this is something that you want to um, patronize. They do have a physical sunscreen if you want to check that out as opposed to going with a chemical one that absorbs into the bloodstream. Um, they also use like your argan oil, your cranberry seed oil, and I mentioned the yuzu seed extract. So, you know, a lot of antioxidants that's really going to balance out free radicals and help the skin, help with firmness. Um, retinol, uh, again, a controversial ingredient. Um, I've worked with a lot of people who have had a lot of retinol damage. Um, and if you're one that's listening, then I definitely highly recommend the Cicaplast from La Roche-Posay uh, to go ahead and use to help you on your journey of healing. But um, now that I've talked about this, their ingredients and you have some insight on Shiseido and who they are as a brand, let's go into their products. Some of their cult products um, I want to mention in this video as well. All right, friends, so let's get into some of the best sellers of Shiseido. Now, I'm going to give you the good and the bad. You all know that's what I pretty much do on the True Skin Care series. But again, this is you making the best informed decision which way you want to go. I will also leave the link to these products down below. So the first product is the Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24. Um, this is an intensive eye contour cream. It's a very rich in texture. As you know, underneath the eyes does not have sebaceous glands. So... Having something that is a rich texture is going to be beneficial to help keeping underneath there moist and minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This is enriched with burnet extract, biohyaluronic acid that is to smooth out. Um, this is easy to blend. It's quick absorbing. There is no residue that's left behind. Of course, it's a pleasant scent, but of course there is some fragrance in here and very luxe packaging and we all know that luxe packaging adds to the experience however the con of it all is that um, it contains parabens so going on to the next product we have the shiseido benefiance wrinkle resist 24 night cream this one is easy to blend it's quick absorbing there's chlorella in here and gambier extracts that is going to give you that intense moisture it leaves no residue there is a pleasant smell here however some of us are opposed to fragrance you can develop a sensitivity over time um however if some of the times if you all were to get uh, a product without anything to make it pleasant to the experience you would complain about it because there are some raw ingredients out here friends for skincare that has the most pungent smell um now, another con that people complain about with this is that it is expensive. 
Okay, and next up is another cult favorite, and that is the Shiseido Benefiance Extra Creamy Cleansing Foam. This is up there in price. However, a lot of people love this. They swear by it. It doesn't strip their skin. This has granules in it, so it's going to gently exfoliate and help to get dirt and impurities out of your pores. Um, this one has anti-aging properties, but however, guys, wear that loosely because it's a cleanser. It's not going to stay on your face long enough to really do anything except get rid of the dirt and makeup and everything that you need to get off, which is great too. That's the first step in skincare. Um, after taking off your makeup, of course, with some sort of, um, makeup remover, but you know, um, this one is said to hydrate the skin and it's dermatologist tested, but please know that this just use a little bit of it. It goes a long way because you're going to use a lot of water to rinse this off. So that's just a little tidbit there. The next product is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate Serum. This one we've seen everywhere, friends. Um, this serum has their Ultimune com Complex, which has the Bulgarian rose water. Rose water is really great for hydrating, fighting acne, preventing lipid degradation. Um, there's yeast extract, which uh, is blended with this ginkgo biloba uh, leaf extract that I mentioned earlier. It has shiso and thyme in it. So this is a skin firming serum and it's just enriched with a lot of antioxidants, including that reishi mushroom and iris root that will help you have this smoother look to your appearance. And I mentioned this uh, earlier in the video, some of the key ingredients that they use in their brand. This is super duper lightweight, um, mineral oil free. There's no parabens in this one, which is interesting that they have parabens in the other product. Um, it's dermatologist tested. Um, and it's said to give you an instant firming effect. Uh, again, that is subjective. The con to this, again, is that there is fragrance in it. Um, and this time, the fragrance can be overwhelming. So it can be offensive. Um, this is just all subjective. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say to that. Moving on to the next product. We have the Shiseido Bio Performance Advanced Super Revitalizing Cream. That is a tongue twister. This one is quick absorbing as well. Um, it's for all skin types. It's non-comedogenic. It's dermatology, dermatologist tested. Um, this is to help you with the fine lines and wrinkles, the dark spots. It has hyaluronic acid in here. Um, I'm assuming they must have, I'm looking in the ingredients. So what they call their advanced bio revitalizing complex um, I'm sure that has some sort of lightening agents in there as well as antioxidant agents that protects the skin from harmful environmental factors. So there you go. Um, and the con to this is that it is slightly expensive. So, you know, this is this is a luxury skincare brand, friends. So, you know, if price is going to be an issue for you, there are alternatives um, to the skincare brand, but this was one of the brands that you all wanted me to bring to you today. And I'm super duper excited to bring this brand to you because Shiseido is just one that is highly talked about. Now, I know that there's a sunscreen that a lot of people use, but um, I didn't bring that today. I didn't want to overwhelm you all with all the products from Shiseido, but I will leave um, some of these products that I mentioned in this video down below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you want to see from me next. Leave that in the comment section below, anything that you're um, curious about. And if you're interested in signing up with the one-on-one -on -one with me, I will also leave that link below as well. I look forward to seeing and talking with you all soon. Ciao for now.